What is something you are pretty sure is going to happen in 2022? Going to get some sweet photos from the James Webb Space Telescope. We're learning the rest of the Greek alphabet. 22,222, 2222, and 22 seconds will occur at it. My prophesy has came true. It's even on a Tuesday. That day will be my niece's second birthday and her parents are planning a tutu-themed party where all the guests wear tutus. Rip Desmond Tutu Too soon Too fast too furious After a grueling 12 months of hard work, George R. R. Martin will type up another three pages of Winds of Winter. After a grueling 12 months of hard work, George R. R. Martin will type up the title of Dream of Spring. That's the thing that gets me. None of us expect to see winds of winter. But if some miracle he gets it done, there's a whole other book still left. We might see winds of winter. We will never see Dream of Spring. Apparently there's rumors he'll need another book after Dream of Spring to wrap things up. Imagine expanding your lore so that you can't catch up yourself. Netflix will cancel a series too soon. Still pissed about the cancellation of I'm not okay with this. Duck dude that was such a cool series too. I will beat stage 4 cancer. Knocks on wood. I have stage 4 colon cancer, which is now in remission. Keep fighting and stay positive, you're a warrior. Hope you do pal wishing you best of luck. My son lost his fight September 30th at age 13 so glad this Christmas has over been so hard without him. Childhood cancer is horrendous. We lost our 8 month old recently to a very aggressive cancer and Christmas broke me. Best wishes to you AMD your family as you navigate each difficult moment. Kim Jong Un is gonna die and come back to life again. Sounds like the plot of the next Kung Fury. You know what would blow my mind this year? A sudden sequel to Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. Burma will be liberated from the brutal regime and I no longer have to risk death every time I go outside. I pray for your revolution to succeed. I saw a bit of the Queen's Christmas message yesterday and suddenly she is looking gaunt, thin and greatly worn out. Obviously she's very old as it is, but I then started looking at previous year's videos and she really appears quite ill, to me. I'm also reminded of those cases where a couple married for an extreme length of time tend to die within a short period of each other, like Bush Sr. Barbara Bush. So that's my prediction for 2022. I don't really care about the British royal family, but it will undeniably be a momentous world event when the Queen does pass. Queen Elizabeth's mother lived till 101. With those genes and modern medicine it isn't inconceivable that she'd go on for even longer. I believe at this point she's holding on just to save us from King Charles. I always thought Shed outlived Charles, just for spite. Camilla could kick rocks King William would rule for 50 years. Someone's going to accidentally write 2021 as the date on their homework. That won't happen to me. Because I'm not in school anymore. Instead I'll write 2021 on an important document for work. Hey even better, I'm a teacher so I'll check off both those boxes. Wahoo! Disney will announce another remake of a classic movie which will ultimately be far worse than the original. Bambi. Starring Dwayne Johnson. As Bambi. I'm fine with that. It's the casting of Kevin Hart as Bambi's mom that bothers me. Dude was made for Thumper. Lil Loud Guy pulling off faces. Someone will post a why are you still up question here gonna do this when every time zone has hit 2022. People who haven't gone to the toilet yet. Why are you still holding on to last year's shit? Avatar 2 will get delayed again, the blue people one that was supposed to come out in 2014-ish. James Cameron just needs a few more months for nipple shots. The detail on the areola is going to be so high you're going to feel like you're being poked in the eye the entire film. It's going to be in 9D. When the blue people get a hair boner, you get one too. I want to speak good things into existence. 
COVID-19 will become very much so more manageable and our cases will be very low. God do I hope so. Er worker here please just let this end. I won't have to listen to whatever the duck my upstairs neighbor is doing 247 because I'm moving and then I'll be the upstairs neighbor doing weird shit 247. Maybe your neighbor are actually you from the future. Reminds me of that Neil Gaiman story about the guy going to hell and slowly turning into his own torturer. I'm pretty sure I'll make it to one year of sobriety. I posted this for myself. I didn't think anyone would see it. I didn't look at my phone for a while after posting until just now. The overwhelming support has absolutely brought me to tears. Thank you. It means more to me than I thought it could. This is one I think I'll look at when things get hard. Thank you. Update edit, I hit 6 months since my last drink. I believe in myself again. Thank you. See you all in 6 more months. I think you will too. My mom being cancer free. Been on chemo for 7 to 8 weeks. Has another 8 weeks, then surgery, then radiation. Tumor had already shrunk by 50% or so. Outlook is very good. Duck cancer. Duck cancer. Your mom kicks ass. Best wishes. More COVID, more weird weather, the beginning of 2024 election conversations, it's pretty much already happening. Oh boy would I love to be an American for once. French here. 2022 is our elections. Send me booze and I'll send some back in 2024. Let's get drunk together. Brazilian elections here. I don't have any hope for 2022. It's gonna be an even bigger shit show. The newly launched James Webb telescope will discover an alien destructor fleet on its way to wipe us out. They don't want our resources, they've been monitoring our entertainment broadcasts for years and just want it to stop. You mean they want more of single female lawyer, right? The Omicrons are already here. Why does Ross, the largest of the friends, simply not eat the other five? May, this is a Joey heavy episode anyway. I will be cancer free, post chemo, and this shit won't come back. I have a two year old daughter and the thought of not being here for her is agonizing. It isn't an option. I need to be here for her. Edit, thanks to everyone for their words of encouragement. It's a hard road but I will get to the end healthy and cancer free. 2022 is my year. My husband is dead. I'll go through our first New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, anniversary, and kids' birthdays without him here. I will get used to sleeping alone. I will stop having nightmares about saving him, only to wake up and find it's not true. I will see our daughter graduate high school. I will applaud and tell her how proud he is. I will have to move out of the home my kids grew up in, because my mother-in-law's name is on the deed and she ducking hates me. I will pretend to have the strength I need to make it through the year. I will try very very hard not to kill myself because several people still rely on me. Fellow widower here. It does suck. It's not fair. Even breathing seems like a challenge. Every bump, every pothole you graze will knock you off course and make you want to give up. Your husband should still be with you. But it does get easier. You learn to deal with the bumps. You will laugh again, honest. You'll get through New Year's Day, the birthdays and all the other firsts you are going to encounter. I know this because I know lots of other widow or s who have been down this road. They're still on that journey. They hit potholes, but they've learned how to cope with them. They survived the firsts. Just like you will. Don't be afraid to seek help from your doctor, from mental health charities. Look out for charities that focus on supporting widows, certainly the UK has them, they will 100% get it and understand what you're going through, because they've been there themselves. I'ma get my shit together. We enjoy seeing it. Next stop, eating healthy and exercising. Winds of winter will not be finished. I will be disappointed with 90% of humanity. Football fans to increasingly forget disregard all the controversies around the World Cup being held in Qatar as it edges closer. Politics in the US will start ramping up in the summer since it is an election year. Has it ever slowed down? The last six months have been slower. It will be rampant by 4th of July.